Hey guys, this is Austin John 22 coming at you with a new review after quite a while actually. Um, I'm a little disappointed with myself to tell you the truth, but those problems with my computer are just not going away as quickly as I thought they would, so been distracted. Today I'm here talking to you about something that's very interesting, I think. I picked it up the other day at Target. It is a Target exclusive, and it is a 7-pack DC Comics Justice League 7-pack featuring these 7 characters from the new 52 comics, uh, if you know what those are. Very cool comics, um, not as good as some of the previous iterations I've seen, but still very good, and it's still developing, and it's still relatively new, and it's good good to check out. I really need to get back into them, I'm quite a bit behind now. But I've, I've liked what I've read so far. Um, you can see no Martian Manhunter, I'm actually not sure if he's even featured in New 52 yet at all. But he is not there. Instead, we have uh, Hal Jordan we ha as the Green Lantern. We have Cyborg, Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman, Aquaman, and Flash. And just, just to point out real quick, I think it is absolutely fantastic that Aquaman is a prominent character in this iteration of the Justice League. He is one of my favorite DC characters. I know he gets a bad rap, but uh, I like him. He's always been one of my favorites. You can see every single one of them has some something unique about their mold. For the most part, all of these ma male characters, except for Cyborg, have the same torso mold. That is one gripe I have about this series, which will feature individual figures. The first wave, as I believe, uh, Batman, Superman, Flash, GL, and Lex Luthor, I believe, maybe? And they do come with accessories, which these do not. Flash comes with a, like a tornado of red wind energy or something. And Superman comes with like a bent girder. Green Lantern comes with a energy blast and so forth. And they're fine, but I think the set is just a much better deal. It's about 50 bucks, which is a little steep. And each of these figures is, I think, like seven individually, and some of them aren't even out yet. Wonder Woman's not out yet. Uh, Cyborg's not out yet. At least not that I've seen. Um, they're very cool. The capes on the ones with capes are actual cloth, and they kind of fit in underneath this additional plastic piece, which can be annoying. I had to look at a couple different um, versions of the 7-pack to find ones that had these on straight, which was a little frustrating. And even here, you can see, very cool Superman logo, you can see the cape doesn't come up quite as far on this side as it does on the other side, which is a bit annoying. Um, what else is annoying is the fact that articulation is a bit limited. Um, they would have a 360 at the neck if it weren't for their huge chins. Or on the case of Wonder Woman, her big hair. Cyborg, I believe, is the only one that has a full 360. Um, they do have torso rotation, which is very cool. You don't see that a lot on these simpler style of toys. 360 at the shoulder. No in and out, though. And a bend at the elbow and a forward and back at the hips. Not the best articulation I've ever seen, but it's good enough. And these guys together, they just make a fantastic display. They look great on a shelf. Uh, Wonder Woman, I think, is probably the highlight of the set. She actually has silver paint. Great face sculpt. Silver paint, great texture on her costume. Her bracelets are painted rather than molded, which is a little annoying. I have the same problem with actually Cyborg, which I'll get to right now. Uh, Cyborg here has all this great painted on detail. But none of it really has molding to support it, which is just as bad as having molded detail with no paint to support it. Otherwise, I look at that face sculpt too. The face sculpts in general on these guys are just fantastic. I'll show you all of those right now, actually. Do how you can see really cool. He does have his power ring painted on there. That's actually kind of cool right there. Cool shot. Um, flash. Very nice. If it'll focus. Come on. There we go. 
very cool cool blue eyes these are uh, soft plastic and Aquaman here um, a little more of a classic take on his appearance than in the new comic which is perfectly fine with me still a very cool head sculpt though same with Batman and you already saw Superman both have more classic head sculpts like uh, Bats here for example looks very Adam West as Batman almost with a bigger chin. He looks almost brave in the bold Batman and that might actually be where some of these figures come from, some of these molds is the brave in the bold toy line. I never really took a look at that. He also has a cloth cape which is fantastic. The cloth capes really remind me of like old 90's figures and guys, I can't think of anyone out there who is into comic book stuff and isn't at least a passing fan of the Justice League. And considering how great these guys look together on a shelf, if you like the Justice League, if you like the New 52, if you like both, I would say you got to pick these up, even if you got to save up for a couple weeks to do it or whatever. They just they just look so cool all together like this, and it's really the easiest way to get them if you ever have an interest in these figures later. This is going to be the easiest way to get them. Uh, so keep that in mind. I don't know how long this is going to be available. Like I mentioned, it is only available at Target. I was just kind of trolling Target when I saw it, and I was in kind of a Justice League mood anyway. I'd been watching some Justice League stuff on YouTube. And I was really excited to find this, and I think you guys will be really excited by it too. There are some flaws that I've mentioned. Um, there's some uniformity between the different molds. There's some unique stuff too, like... Batman has his spikes on his gloves, and you can see Aquaman there has fins and stuff like that. And Cyborg is a, almost a completely different mold. Actually, I think he is a completely different mold from all the other characters. Wonder Woman looks very cool. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually wondering if maybe her mold is taken from a different line. It kind of looks like it might be. But overall, they just look very good. And so I'm going to recommend you get them. And uh, that's really all I have to say, except, uh, like I mentioned, my computer has been acting up. I do plan on trying to get at least one more review up this week. And uh, it, it's there's no contest. I just picked up Beast Hunter's smoke screen, so that's who it's going to be. So I'll at least get him up this week and maybe some mini-vlogs. But, again, with my computer all messed up, not going to be able to get any like real good editing done so chances are none of my big vlog ideas are going to come through anytime soon just a heads up but I am still bringing you guys content I'd, and I'd really um, really like your guys' feedback if you have any ideas for something I can do yeah I'd even go so far as to say if you know a good website for checking your computer status I would be really appreciative of that I would really be appreciative of any kind of feedback uh, thanks, you guys. Anybody who views this, thank you very much. And I will talk to you guys later.